Okay, so what I'm going to show you now is CJI3. CJI3 is one of the um, project reports. Um, so you open SAP as I've shown you before, you go to your favorites, you look for your CJI3. Uh, mine is there, you double click on it, and it opens up this screen. And this is a screen of variables, it's called, where you see yourself, um, uh, you actually can't see it on the, on the camera and the video, but um, you see at the top it's asking you for a project, there is a list of WSL network activities, material networks, cost elements, posting dates, etc. So there is a, a few variables in there that allows you to run the report in a particular way. What I'm going to show you now is, is three areas which are really important. One is your project area, which you need to say which project or projects you're running. The other one is a posting date, so from what period to what period, which is this cell and this cell. And the other one is the layout that you're going to be using to run this report. Yeah. So in terms of project, you can just um, delete in there so it'll look empty like that. And to search, if you if you look at it, every time you click on the cell, see how this little thing appears next to it? Yeah. So you click on that little search, and it brings up a searching window. In there, the easiest way to do it is you put asterisk, yeah, and you put say uh, a u s asterisk, and you go enter, and it gives you a list of all the projects that have a u s in it on either side. Yeah, that's what the asterisk is for. So I'm gonna go and pick Australia 14, yeah, which is the one that's in there. You can't see this, but <coughs> Trust me when I say I'm picking that one. So Australia 14, double click on it, and it brings it into there. So the number is P00162 in this case. Yeah. So it puts P00162. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the posting dates, and I'm going to say I want everything from the 1st of the 1st, 2006. 2007 to the just for no reason 12th of the 12th 2000, 2007 yep so I'm gonna search for about 12 month worth and then here you double click on that layout see that's a layout settings you double click you click in there and it opens up a list of layouts yeah that you can actually select from in terms of what you want the report to look like in there there is one called RPM report that's the one that I want you to select. So you click on RPM report, it places it there, and then you literally are ready to go. You click on search, and it will, so sorry, in search, you click on that little clock at the bottom, at the top there. Yeah? It'll take a little bit, and then it'll run. When it runs, it looks like this. And in here, you have the columns. So you've got the posting year, 2007, the project P162 like I said before the object is the activity actually which was the time was posted so don't stress too much about that it's important to have in there posting date is when when it took place this is the activity so in this case it was briefing and commissioning dream other book tasks in there briefing and commissioning discover etc etc there's a few different activities this is actually the cost center where it's coming from. Don't worry too much about that. Activity type, don't worry too much about that. This is a cost element, it's important. Each cost element will be linked to a particular um, activity. So in this case, it's in-house commissioning editor city country. Yeah? And you will see in other reports, other cost reports, that this is kind of an important thing to know the cost elements. Um, they always repeat themselves. I think I said to you guys before, a cost element is like a bank account, really. So it just collects costs. You keep coming across and it says, value this is in Australian dollars quantity this is the hours and if you actually scroll across you'll see that it says value in um, well in this case Australian dollars again but if this project was actually a US project the second column will actually display the value in US dollars and then you got the personal number which is that person is the person that posted those many hours at that cost against this project if you double click here you will see it brings up a window which looks like that and at the top it says personal number and it says Tashi Wheeler so it tells you who it is so you can see who posted the cost so to get out of here you just go OK and it goes back to the report yep okay I'm just going to show you now before I actually download this into Excel which I want to show you in a minute I'm going to show you how to get out of here and how to run this for a few projects. Yeah, so you can go back, which is that button up there. Back, 
and he asks you do you really want to get out of this and you say yes and he brings you back to here.